Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Shelly. I am currently a third grade teacher in Northern California. I am also a wife and a mom, all the things. Today we have some tea. I'm gonna share with you what grade I will be teaching next year. And if you've been here since the beginning, since 2017, it has been quite the saga. I am so jealous of all of those people that are like, oh, I've taught first grade for 17 years. I'm like, how? How? Because I will be entering my seventh year of teaching with a new experience. So if you are someone that has stayed with the same grade level for years and years and years, just know some of us are very, very jealous. So let's do a quick recap for my friends that are brand spanking new here. My first two years of teaching, I taught third grade at a different school. When I moved to my current school, I started in sixth grade just to kind of get my spot. I did that for one year. Then I moved to second grade and I was in second grade for three years. And then this current school year, I taught third grade, which third grade is my absolute favorite grade. If I could stay anywhere for 17 years, it would be third grade. Um, it's my favorite. It's my sweet spot. I love it. So, but the question is, where did I land for next year? It should be said that my current placement that I was given, everything's tentative, right? It's all based around enrollment. And I want to explain kind of the process for selecting our grade levels at my school. It's very different everywhere, I'm sure. But for us, here is how it kind of works. In April, our principal sends us an email and it's called like tentative grade level assignment or something. And in that email is a form and that form tells us all the different classes that we're going to have next year. My school is kind of unique in the sense that we always have this bubble. Um, and when I say bubble, I mean the number of grade level classes kind of shifts. It's never the exact same every year, which is kind of a bummer because teachers have to be really flexible. So that being said, my school usually has a TK, three kindergartens, three firsts, two or three seconds, two or three thirds, two or three fourths, usually two fifths and sometimes three sixth grades. So again, that bubble that I'm referring to, depending on enrollment, never really know how many of each grade level there are going to be. And the teachers that are the newest at the site tend to be a little bit more flexible because the ones that have been there forever, they're not going to move around. And rightfully so, they shouldn't have to. Um, so my principal sends this email and it says, these are the number of classes that we have next year. And then we select our top three choices and then one that we absolutely do not want to teach. So, which I think is pretty cool because at least we get three choices. You usually almost always get at least one of your three, unless there's like some crazy extenuating circumstance. Um, and then you never get the one that you're like, eh, which I mean, come on, that's fair. Um, so this year, or I should say next year at my school, here's what we had going on. We have one TK, possibly adding a second TK, but we won't know that until closer to next school year, but it doesn't matter because that's not what I'm going to teach. Um, there will be three kindergartens, three first grades, three second grades, two third grades, but there will be a two, three combo. That's the other thing with a bubble. There's usually a combination class somewhere. Um, so there'll be a two, three combo. There will be three fourth grades. There will be two fifth grades and I believe three sixth grades. So. We also had a lot of construction happen on our school recently. So our school itself expanded, which means our enrollment will get to expand. So that's why there are more than usual um, in terms of classes. Now, when I saw that email, my brain started to spin because third grade is where I wanna be. Like I love third grade so much. We currently have three third grades. And the only reason I got to move from second to third this year is because we needed another full third grade. And I was like, yay. Um, that's obviously not going to be the case next year. And my two partners right now have been in third grade at that school forever. So it's kind of their right to stay in third grade. So my head kind of started to spin and I'm like, okay, here are my options. I can go back down to second grade, but to be frank, I don't love second grade. Ugh. Um, I just, they're just a little too young for me. I've done it the longest ironically, but it's not like where I really, really, really love to be. Um, so I could go back down to second, I could teach the two, three combo, or I could go up to fourth grade. And here are my thoughts on all that. Didn't want to go back down to second. While I always thought that I would love fourth grade, I just didn't want to learn a whole grade level from scratch. I've done it three times, third, second, and sixth. 
And it's a lot. Like you, the first year for me is like always a wash because you're learning everything the first time. Like it's brand new math. It's brand new science. It's brand new social studies. So the first year, you're pretty much like learning it all for the first time, just getting to know the standards, right? And I just really didn't want to do that. Um, also because I know that next school year, there probably won't be three-fourths, so I'm just going to get kicked back down again. Um, so that was my issue. So then my next thought was, okay, a two-three combo. I've never done a combination class. I've never wanted to do a combination class. You're teaching essentially two grades. Well, you are. You're teaching two grades. However... I've taught second, I've taught third. I love third, I'm okay with second. So I thought, okay, maybe it's my time to teach the combination class. So next school year, as it lies right now, everything's obviously tentative, I will be teaching the two, three combo. And if you follow me on Instagram, I kind of tease like it's something I've never done before because I have never done a combination class. I have taught second, I have taught third. Um, so it will be a brand new experience, which I am, Part excited, part terrified. We'll talk about that in a minute. But yeah, that is where I landed next year. And unless enrollment goes insane and they end up needing like another full third grade or another full second or something, there definitely will be a combination. So I am at peace with it. I am getting more excited about it. I have a lot of time because I'm on maternity leave to wrap my head around how I want to plan and run my day and, and just wrap my head around teaching two grade levels. So I do plan on documenting a lot of that here on YouTube because... Um, I searched on YouTube, how do you run your combination class and didn't really find anything. So hopefully if some of you teach combination classes, you can help me out. Maybe I can give you some ideas. So that being said, we have a lot of content to come around combination classes. Another thing that I think should be mentioned is that at my school, they try to incentivize teachers to take the combination class with some perks, which I think is pretty neat. So when teachers teach a combination class at my school, here are some things that we get. You don't have any yard duty for the entire year, which is kind of incredible. I never really realized like how much time yard duty can cut into planning time. Um, so I'm excited about that. The other thing that I love is the combination teacher gets to select their prep schedule, which is amazing. Normally we are given the prep schedule and this is when you have prep. Sometimes you have two in one day, sometimes you don't have any. It's just like you get what you get. But if you have a combination class, you get to pretty much look at a blank prep schedule and say, I want this, 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 and this, which again, phenomenal. I am so excited about that. It just gives you more consistency in your schedule. And it's another little perk of, mm, you have to do this, so we'll give you this. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Another really big benefit of the combination class is when we articulate and we create classes for next year, it is known and it is expected that the grades below curate a very independent class for the combination class. So ideally you're getting really independent learners, kids that are at grade level and no serious behaviors, which of course is a dream. However, it's never that simple, right? But they do their best to give you a class that can do a lot of things independently because we all will differentiate, right? But differentiating in two grade levels is just like a whole nother beast. So ideally you want a class that is easy on paper, right? Okay, so we have no yard duty, we get to choose our preps. And then the third thing is, is they give you a like two hour a week clerical aid. So basically someone to run copies and stuff for you. There's a chance that I might actually have a full time class aid, which would be insane. Um, but luckily I'm also at a site where I have super involved parents. So I know I'm gonna have a lot of help, which is great. So on the flip side of the perks are some things that I'm a little bit afraid of. <laughs> Teaching two grade levels. I feel like when you teach one grade level, like we're already like, how do we fit it all in? How do we fit it all in? We can't fit it all in. So now we have to figure out how to put two grade levels in one day. And that's just like, it's daunting. Luckily, like I said, I've taught both grades, so I know the grade level standards really, really well. That's the plus here. And I can already tell where I'm able to overlap. Um, so I think that will be helpful. I just have to sit down and like figure out <laughs> how to do it essentially. But I love a good challenge and it's something new and I'm, I'm actually pretty excited for it. So that's the tea, that's the news. I told you guys on Instagram, I was gonna let you know here first. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you go do that now at Early Adventures. If you haven't subscribed, please make sure to subscribe because we have a lot of stuff coming for next year. I know I'm on maternity leave and the teaching content is slim, but I'm already starting to plan and prep for next year. Um, 
Good news too is I don't have to move classrooms. <laughs> so classroom setup will be in full force this year. Probably gonna start really early. Um, super excited about that. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss all of that fun stuff to come. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next video.